This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to Starbound Warp Core. All right, so uh, when we last left off, we just got the mission for the mining facility. I've pretty much emptied my inventory of everything of value. We got a little bit of food. Actually, I want to empty out those seeds. So let's find a good, I guess this could be the seed chest for the most part. Uh, we'll keep this other stuff in here for now and Did I have some torches or did I place my torches somewhere? Yeah, I did have some torches. Okay, so that's it We we everything that we could possibly lose at any given point. We've already uh, Emptied and uh, we have all of our other stuff on here. By the way, these pickaxes are freaking awesome early game All right, uh, let's do this mission all right, I'm hoping that this gun is going to be good enough to get us through this mission here. And it's been a while since I've done this mission normally. Uh, most of the time when I come here, I just cheat and jump immediately to the boss because, you know, I'm just testing things or what have you. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun to actually do this legit style. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. Maybe, maybe not hundred slots in those a couple of those wouldn't be terrible to own and I thought there was something somewhere around here to bam we're getting nothing we're having horrible luck to turn some lights on did I miss it somewhere maybe I missed it somewhere I do have a flashlight or at least I thought I did yeah I do have a flashlight that we can we can equip oh it's a red flashlight it's a red crappy flashlight and we don't have anything with that yet so we're gonna have to rely on our horrible red crappy flashlights. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't think there's, nope, nothing in those. I'm trying to remember, oh, that's right. We have to go up, so go up and over and down. And I think that's when we run into the first moon ant, if I remember correctly, as soon as we, we hit this. Yep, there he is. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> we I think we're gonna be perfectly fine. We're just completely wrecking them. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's really good. It's gonna be an easy, easy, easy mission. Okay, let's go ahead and yeah, get you some explosiony goodness. Let's see how we do with that. Oh yeah, yeah. This this weapon is clearly much better balanced and much better for um, content that has not or has been modified. This content has not been modified at all. Um, much better for the, um, for our other stuff on our normal levels. All right, yeah, we're just, we're just wrecking these guys. This is going to be, this mission is going to be a piece of cake. And I honestly, I don't think anything we're going to find here is going to be any better than this gun that we have. So we're just going to kind of just wreck face and get through this. And, I mean, we don't seem to be finding anything. There's nothing in any of these chests. I don't know. Oh, finally, finally we find something. I was gonna say, I don't know what is going on here. That's really weird. Uh, lady, okay, I was gonna say that I can't do a whole lot for you. I definitely want those green experience orbs so we can level up our RPG system here. Become awesome. It's just shoot this. Yeah, get you, get you some of that explosion-y goodness. I'm trying to remember where we go from here. We go over? I don't know, because I always just go through the ground to go straight down. <laughs> so I don't remember the path that we're supposed to take through here. I know we these guys are nothing for us. Absolutely nothing. We need some Pandora's box monsters up in here. That's what we need. Make it a little bit more challenging. Which makes me wonder how challenging any of the other bosses are going to be. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I mean, the bosses are kind of meh anyway, and I kind of feel like they've always been kind of meh. So, all right, can can you yeah can you jump up there so we can kill these guys? Oh, we're just firing rockets everywhere. Just rockets for everybody. You get a rocket. You get a rocket. Yeah. Okay. Oh nope. Meant to jump that. Let's go back around. I don't even. I, I mean, I guess I'm looking for pixels because that's about the only thing that we're gonna get of worth out of here. Pixels, rope, and torches. All of that is good stuff. So let's turn that on. Let's see if we can make this jump. 
Oh, so close. I don't even know if that's worth wasting a rope. I'm not, I'm not even gonna worry. Nah, it's not worth it. There's probably nothing in those at the rate that we've been, you know, going through all these. There hasn't been hardly anything. So I'm gonna assume there's nothing in there. And right now we're just going to blow all these little guys up and continue to head over this way. Make sure we get our experience orbs. And we go, we go up and over, right? I think it's up and it's been so long been so long since I've actually did this mission legit style what's what's this switch do we need to hit this switch okay that brings that opens that up now I think we have to go this way if I remember correctly and we'll just shoot that guy here don't worry people I will help oh, we blew that guy up there here I'll help you nothing in there nothing in there yeah we're not getting anything out of these chests this is Fairly disappointing. Oh, here we go. A little more rope and some... I don't know what's going on with that. That is weird. Okay, so I guess we'll just continue to head down this way. We haven't gotten a single gun or nothing. Is this where... Oh, this is where we get this guy here. Are you going to be a little bit more challenging? Not really. You just get... <laughs> you got... You got nothing. Nothing. All right, let's go around forget we're nope nothing in there why am I not getting anything I hope something isn't bugged we haven't gotten a single weapon is that normal I don't know I can't remember it's been so long where am I supposed to go from here now we're supposed to because that's a continue spot then we go this way I think I don't know we're about to find out yeah, okay, yeah, it is this way. Because we got another hammer guy here. Hammer guy? You got nothing. Just enjoy getting bounced around. You like it? You like it. It's fun for you. You like it. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> he almost got behind us. Oh no, we're out. We're finally out of energy. Yeah, you're dead. Give me all that sweet, sweet green experience orbs. And here we go. Here we go. Now we're we're getting somewhere. Gonna head on down here. Open that up and go on into the boss. Now, if we stay over here to the side, should be able to get all the way down without triggering anything. Can we get it? Oh, we had it. Why can't we not get it now? We had it just for a second. There we go. Now go all the way back up. I love doing this because it's just like, it's so broken. Get that first, first good free hit. Now go all the way, <laughs> all the way across. And then we come down this way and we do the same thing. If we stay close enough to the side, we get a total free hit. Look at that. It's ready to roll. Ready for that free hit action. There we go. <laughs> it's so good. And then uh, we're just going to switch to bandages. And uh, I'm going to take hits and just heal through this here. Oh, oh. Heal through it. Heal through it. All right. Heal. Keep healing. All right, there we go. Need a good shield. I should have kept some one or, one or two or three of those uh, nutmeg shields that I had there. This dude hits a little harder than I expected. All right, yeah, just take that hit. We'll heal through it. We'll come over here. We'll get this. And then we'll come back up here and make sure we're fully healed. Okay, yeah, you stop, stop doing that so I can get this last hit on you real quick. There we go. That was easy. And then we'll just kill that guy. Yeah, I know. I saved your life. There better be something good in this chest or I'm going to shoot you. Probably not, though. A couple of capture pods would be nice. Let's see what we get here. Nope. A shield. <laughs> we didn't get two capture pods, so that's nice. Okay. Let's finish this mission up. All right. We're back here at the outpost. Now it's time to talk to old Penguin Pete.
All right, hold up there, hold up, hold up. We got a slight issue. Okay, so that's not what he's supposed to say. This screenshot here that you're seeing now, this is what he's supposed to say. I found out after the fact that apparently when you edit quests and edit the quest line and what the people say, uh, that doesn't change on a character who has already picked up the quest. It changes on new characters, but somehow it's already written into like your character file. I found the actual te text lines from the from the the person here from Penguin Pete in the character file and they're set to what they originally were so yeah this may happen again and I may have to interrupt again and inform you guys when I make changes because apparently some things are written into your character file and do not change you however will see the text that's on the screen now he's gonna say that all right let's get back to playing Uh oh, that didn't look good. All right, so uh, there you go. Now you know uh, one of the main things about this mod pack, our ship is broke and we cannot go anywhere. So let's teleport back up to our ship and uh, we'll verify that and see that it is still indeed broke. You can't you can't get it upgraded. We're, we, still, we still got no navigation. So we're stuck on this planet for now. Now the question is, and I'm sure many of you are asking and saying, well, that's stupid. How do you explore? Well, I've kind of created a whole new uh, exploration system here, and that's where the warp cores come in handy. So first off, actually, I ended up with one too many of those there. So let's get rid of that. And now let's open these up and see what we got in them. Yeah, nothing too great. Uh, what, what's that other thing we got? Oh, we got a tech card. Tech card and a spear that's probably not as good. What level is it? Yeah, level one. It's trash. Okay, let's just throw that in. No, I don't want to throw it in there. Let's throw it. Nope, I don't want to throw it in there. I really got to. I got to get a. I got to get a house going and some type of storage system because right now, it's an absolute disaster. Okay, so uh, the warp cores. This is where warp cores come into play. This is how you explore new planets. And the great thing about this is is warp cores take you to an instance world, which means it's not a persistent world. So this is one of the cool things about uh, warp core is that you can uninstall it at any time and not be affected by it. And I can add any type of planet that I can come up with at any given point in time and add a warp core for it. You can teleport to it and your core game will never be affected. So yeah, I don't know about you all, but I think that's fantastic. So anyway, uh, we're going to teleport. We're going to use this first one here. We got the jungle warp core. I'm going to show you how it, how it's used. We, uh, we're just going to do uh, beam to jungle because we don't have mech yet. So we're just going to beam on down to the jungle here. Now this, uh oh, we don't have an EPP. That's not good. Heal up. Can we heal up there? We're really low health for some reason. Like we come down and we're immediately low health. Now I don't want to leave just yet. We're not even gaining any health. Deadly radiation. I need to find at least one chest. Hopefully, hopefully we don't die. Oh no, it just took away our hit points completely. Uh, we're really underprepared for this and I probably should have waited. If we die, we won't lose anything. The thing is, is we need to find another warp core. Now there's plenty of chests here. Can you die, little thing? That should, or I should say, will have a chance to have a warp core in them. We just gotta find them. There's one there. I'm gonna try to get it. We're gonna have to kill this guy. We're we're radiated. I completely forgot about an EPP before we came here. So uh, that's just me noobing it up, getting ahead of myself because I'm super excited and uh, to show this off to you all because I thought it was a pretty neat concept. Can you, can you die? Holy crap, this thing's taking a heck of a beating. Can you die, bird? Do we get another bird? There's now another bird. <laughs> There's so many birds. Die birds. Uh oh, we're out of energy. Good thing we're a mage. We have tons of energy. All right, we're just gonna just gonna keep firing like this. There we go. We got one down. Did we kill the other one? Nope. Other one is still alive. Hit it. Hit it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> I just shooting everywhere. Nothing dropped. Did anything drop? Okay. I think we got him. 
I think we're good. Let's pickaxe. Look at this awesome pickaxe. This pickaxe is so good. I don't even care about the matter manipulator. Great. We got another warp core, uh, so we can come back to another one. So that's good. Now we're going to get out of here. Actually, you know what? We got the warp core. We won't lose our inventory if we die. That's another thing. When you come to these... I had the option to set it to so that you lose your inventory, but I figured that's no fun and kind of dumb because you can't get back to get your inventory. So if your inventory drops, you're you're done. You lose all of your stuff. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to do that. So when you die here on on these planets that you go to using a warp core, you will not lose your stuff if you die. It's no big deal. Uh, you just you know basically lose out on being able to uh, continue exploring the planet. So, and if you don't find any warp cores on that planet, oh, we just died, uh, then you may have to buy some. So you will, will be able to buy them. Uh, as many merchants will sell them. They're, they're locked into the base merchant um, config, whatever you want to call it. So like all merchants will have a chance to carry warp cores. And uh, I think I'm going to make the what you call it shop the infinity express sell all of them as well just so you always have the option to buy them and you can never get locked out of continuing to play the game uh, but unfortunately we've hit our wrap-up point for this week's episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patreon supporters for making this episode possible you all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.